Now, if you were to watch this play and don't slow it down, you might miss the little things within it. Coming up the floor, Jokic has his eyes up and he sees that Prince is already getting in help position because Russell is on Gordon. So Jokic waits for Gordon to continue to post up, which makes Prince commit even more. And while all this happens, MPJ is creeping on the backside to go throw down the alley-oop dunk. Averaging a triple-double isn't something that is easy, but for some reason, it seems like people take it for granted. Nikola Jokic is putting up 24 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists per game while maintaining shooting splits of a 66% effective field goal percentage and a 70% true shooting percentage as well. On a nightly basis, Jokic just makes the defense look clueless with some of his split-second decisions, and even for some of us viewers, he never ceases to amaze us with his many ways to manipulate the defense. Big men usually aren't equipped with the necessary skills to be a focal point of the offense, but when we're talking about Jokic, I mean it's a totally different story. Ask yourself this question, what really makes Nikola Jokic amazing? I mean, if you think about it, we can all really answer it ourselves. If you want him to play more passive and set up the team, then he definitely has no problem doing so. But then if you want him to put his stamp on the game even more and put some points on the board, then he can provide that as well. It's truly an all-in-one package when you have a player like Nikola Jokic on your team as he can affect everything that happens on the court. The amount of value he brings to this team is tremendous as it helps land him at the number one seed in the Western Conference as they sit at 41-18 and 18 going into the back half of this season. With a healthy group of guys around him who are leaving it all on the court every night, it allows Jokic to do his job much easier as he has built up chemistry with this team and they're also playing with much confidence. Now when we're talking about basketball, it's more than just a sport. It has a lot of art within it and everyone has their own specialty piece that they like to paint. Passing is definitely an art in today's game that many players possess, but when it comes to Jokic, he is truly the Van Gogh. With a usage rate lower than a lot of stars in the league, Jokic has a usage rate of 26.5% and it lands him at the 48th spot amongst all players in the league. But when we look deeper into his passing, Jokic has a 42% assist percentage which lands him at 4th in the league amongst all players. So I mean, what do these two stats really show us? It just further shows that the ball doesn't need to be in Jokic's hands excessively, but he can still contribute in a huge way when it comes to setting up his teammates for easy buckets. There's literally no time for you to sleep on the defensive side once the rebound is corralled, as Jokic can get control of the ball off the board and immediately sling a Hail Mary down the court for the touchdown. Trust me, it's not easy to make these passes down the court, but for Jokic, it's just second nature. He can scan the floor very swiftly, and although people talk about his rather lack of speed, Jokic can really get the pace moving with his ability to help the team score at the other end in the blink of an eye. I mean, after getting the steal, it's not even another step as Jokic stays planted and throws this bullet through the middle of the floor to Murray for the dunk at the other end. Then this time, Jokic is even deeper under the basket, and with a perfect float on this pass, Jokic drops it right in Bruce Brown's hands over the defender for the quick deuce. Now over here in Two Shotties World, we call this the invitation to Jokic's passing. You get to see what he's capable of when it comes to facilitating in the open floor, but the party hasn't officially started just yet. But once you do let him get into his flow within the half-court offense, well this is when the music starts coming into your ears and the party is now alive. The degree of difficulty on some of these passes Jokic makes is very high. For any other big man, I don't really think we would even see passes like these be attempted, but with Jokic, he's not only attempting them, but more times than not, he completes them as well. When finding your guys on the court, you have to be careful to not telegraph passes or else they will be easily picked off and result in turnovers going the other way. Jokic can deceive the defense with his no looks on the court, really playing tricks on the defenders. Now I want to ask you this, where is this pass going? Okay, think about it. Alright, say your answer. Okay, if you didn't pick the corner, then you were wrong. Dashing passes to his teammates where you would barely expect him to is what Jokic does great. It can really throw you off when Jokic passes it to a defender you didn't even think he notices himself, and after getting deep into the paint here, you would think that this pass would go to the cutting brown, but nope, it's a kick out to the open green leading to a layup at the rim. Your eyes truly have to stay on a swivel, and as a defender you must play honest because at any time it could be your man that Jokic ends up sending a pass to. Although Brown got skipped on the last play and it went to green, on this play it's the exact opposite. You would think Jokic would threat this pass down the middle to green, but since Jokic is on the backside, it's just a no look out to the corner for the money ball. See? 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 It's just the little things that happen so quickly in real time that it's easy to just glance over them, but when we sit down and really look at these plays, we can actually see just how much skill goes into making these reads. To be this good at passing, you must have a great feel for the game and know exactly where your teammates like the ball. Jokic just seems to be a step ahead of the defense at all times, and before he even gets the ball, Jokic knows Franz is shifting down, so it's just a quick tap out to the 40% shooter at Michael Porter Jr. for the long range bucket. These quick decisions make it easy to play off Jokic because no matter where you're at, 
how little space or how hard it may seem, Jokic can get the pass off setting you up for an easy look at the basket. Now you can't sit here and tell me this pass wasn't threaded perfectly on this cut to the rim or that this spin off into a sharp pass over the middle to Gordon wasn't a thing of beauty. Yeah, I know, it may seem pretty simplistic, but it's all about how effortless Jokic makes it look when dishing these out. For all of us watching, it may seem like these are fairly easy to do, but trust me, if you were to try to make these passes moving at NBA speeds, you would surely see how difficult these are to pull off. To really see a deeper look at how much better the team scores the ball when Jokic is on the court, if we look at his on to off court splits, you can see that when Jokic is on the court, the Nuggets have a way better effective field goal percentage and a true shooting percentage as well. A huge factor of this is due to his ability to put his teammates in the best position to score, but also Jokic is scoring the ball at a highly effective rate himself. So far this season, the scoring from the inside is methodical and he's even more savvy in that mid-range area. The back to the basket play style Jokic plays with isn't the most exciting or fan engaging at times, but Jokic constantly reminds everyone just how effective it can be. He can face up, take a couple dribbles while using a crafty move to then go finish, put defenders in the post making them look like easy work, and use footwork to get around defenders and put two on the board. This all leads to Jokic converting 74% of his 320 field goal attempts in the restricted area, and in the paint, Jokic drops in 62% of his 263 field goal attempts. So honestly, if you're asking me, you don't really want to let Jokic catch fire from this area or it'll be a hard task for the defense to slow him down. The hot scoring from the inside is not the only area where Jokic can pour it in because this seeps right into his mid-range and three-point shooting as well. Now Jokic isn't that big that is going to take a lot of shots from the perimeter, but when he does, he surely makes it count. From the mid-range area, Jokic is shooting 54% on 66 attempts so far, and from deep range on a low volume of 2 attempts per game, Jokic is draining these at a 39% rate. So as you can see, although these shots from outside the paint aren't coming in at a high rate, Jokic still makes the most of his chances when he decides to let it fly. Nikola Jokic is truly a special player that a lot of people are starting to take for granted. Although he has been playing at this level for a while now, it doesn't take away from his greatness on the court. On a nightly basis, we see tons of players take the court, but to see a guy perform the way Jokic does is something we won't see often from guys in his position. The IQ is off the charts, the patience is on another level, and his ability to make his teammates around him better is phenomenal. If you had to pick a player to build a team around, Jokic would definitely be a solid pick. Sure, he does have some weaknesses to his game, but the positives outweigh the negatives so much to where it's okay for him to have some lagging areas. Honestly, where would this Nuggets team be without Nikola Jokic? I honestly don't think they would even be remotely close to the same team without him. Hey, maybe I'm wrong, but that's just what I think. How do you all feel about Nikola Jokic? Is he going to win his third MVP? Will he lead this Denver Nuggets team to a deep playoff run? Let me know what you all think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like before heading over to watch this Luka Doncic and Kyrie analysis. I thank you all for your support during this time, and I'll see you in the next video.